guys! Today I'm going to be doing my very first favorites video. This is going to be for the month of January. I'm a little bit late, but I had so many great products to share with you, so I thought it was better late than never. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, I thought I could share with you guys some really great Valentine's Day gift ideas. If you have someone in your life who you want to send this video to, give them a little hint hint, or if you just want to show some self-love and buy something nice that you like for Valentine's Day. My first product that I'm going to be talking about is a drugstore foundation. I picked it up for about roughly $8, I believe, and this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I picked this up because I wanted to try something different. I find that I tend to purchase foundations that are geared towards more dry skin types and I just wanted to see what this was like. It's an oil-free foundation. It gives you a good medium to full coverage. It sets matte on your skin. Even though I have more of a dry skin type, I don't find that it dries my skin at all. And I do have sensitive skin. That's another reason why I don't usually go out and buy a lot of drugstore foundations because I find that most of them will irritate my skin. But I really like this so far. I find that it lasts all day. I usually don't get oily throughout the day and I still didn't really have that problem. I actually stayed really matte throughout the day, which is good. And I just wanted to mention this in my favorites because I think it would be a really great addition to somebody who has oily skin type or maybe oily combination since it worked really great for me and probably even more so for oily skin types. So check that out if you find that anywhere and if you're looking for a good, cheap drugstore foundation. My next product is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I have been really enjoying this product. It dries really quickly on my eyes so I don't have to worry about it transferring onto my eyelid and it doesn't transfer throughout the day as well. Another reason that I really like this is I mentioned in my last video, my Kim K tutorial, that it was a felt tip liner, but I was actually wrong. It is a brush tip applicator. They're individual bristles, which give you a really precise and thin line if you would like that. And you can see how vibrant and dark it is and how easy it goes on. It dries really quickly, which is awesome. This I got from Sephora for $19. I do want to mention that before I got this, I used to use the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Eye Booster. This claims to help your lashes grow and has a serum, which I didn't find any results from, but I still used it anyway because like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, it kind of goes on the same. It also has that same brush tip applicator and it's also very vibrant black, which I love for my eyeliners. The Physician's Formula is a really good dupe. It's $11. It's about $8 less if you want to pick up an eyeliner that has the brush tip applicator. I do prefer this one currently because I find that this gives more of that matte finish and this it sets a little bit more shiny. And I do prefer the matte, so I like this so far, but I don't mind using this one either. These are both really good to check out depending on where your budget is. The next two products I have for this month's favorites are blush products. The first one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. I picked this up from Sephora and it comes with three different colors. It's really beautiful. It kind of has a highlighter marbled into the blush which makes the blush really pretty and shimmery without overdoing it. I find that the finish of these blushes are really soft and enhances your makeup that you have on that day without bringing all the attention to your cheeks. It just kind of gives you a little lift, a little color on the cheeks. It is a little bit expensive. I think it's almost about $50, but you do get three really great shades that you can use for a really long time. So that's something that I really love this month. 
The next thing is also another blush product. This is the NARS Madly Blush, and kind of the same thing. I really like this because it's like a pinky nude, so it doesn't go on super like red or pink. It really just kind of works with your contour or your bronzer and just gives you a little bit color without being too much. I bought it more so for my kit because I thought it would be a great universal color for everyone. I've been using it on my clients and myself and I've been really loving it, but only downfall is that it is $30 a pop, which is, it's pretty expensive, you know, typical for more high-end makeup products, but still kind of on the expensive side, which is not very fun. So I was looking through my kit and I found this blush. This is a Makeup Geek blush, right? this one right here. It's called Honeymoon and it is an awesome dupe. I will show you side to side how similar they actually look. I don't know if that's coming off on camera the way I want it to, but they are extremely similar. The only difference I would say is that the Makeup Geek blush has just a little bit more shimmer, thicker, bigger chunks of shimmer. Not huge, but it is a little bit bigger where this one, it's more, you know, very small, fine, kind of like a highlight. So this is a really good dupe. This one retails for about $10, I believe, which I think is a great deal. They both work really great and are very similar. So the next couple products that I have are more skincare type products. The first one I have is the Bliss Daily Detoxifying Facial Toner. This has been my everything this month. It, uh, it's an alcohol-free toner which is amazing if you have dry skin. I have never been able to use regular toners because it would just dry my skin really horribly and it would just make it worse and I wanted to find something that would really help minimize pores, kind of clear my skin. It hydrates my skin. I feel like my skin feels and looks softer and more nourished. Um, it retails for about $26. I picked mine up from Sephora. It smells so good. It's kind of like a citrusy, a little grapefruit kind of, but not too strong. I put it on a little aesthetic wipe and I wipe this all over my face morning and night and have been really enjoying this a lot. Basically, it almost acts like a moisturizer. It does say that you can use it as a makeup primer as well. Check this out if you guys have dry skin and kind of are looking for something similar. All right, next is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. I used to use the Neutrogena one, which was very similar. It's the two-way formula for a really long time. And I used to like that. I thought that was really great. I'm sure it's a lot more affordable than this one. This I got from... Where did I get this from? I got this from Ulta, about $19. It is a little bit more expensive compared to the Neutrogena one, which also works great. But I find that this is a little bit stronger than the Neutrogena one. It completely melts off all your makeup. Because I wear so much makeup on a regular basis, my skin and my pores can get extremely clogged up if I am not completely removing my makeup every single night. So this stuff just melts it off. I wash my face, it does the job. I really like this. I liked it so much that I even picked up a baby one. <laughs> <laughs> the last product in my favorites this month is the Tarte Tarte Lip Palette. And I cannot even explain to you how much I love this palette. I'm sure for everyone who's tried this that it's in their monthly favorites for that month, wherever they got it. It is so amazing. Every single shade in this palette is matte, which is huge because me especially, I love matte colors. I find that because I have a mono lid, it's really hard to work with shimmery shadows or glitters or things like that because it constantly transfers when I open my eyes, which just doesn't look good and it just looks 
horrific by the end of the night. And so when I saw everyone talking about this, I had to go check it out and I fell in love with it. I picked it up and I have been using it every single day religiously. No matter what skin shade you are, this palette will work for you because it has warm tone colors, neutral and cool tone colors. Uh, you can all mix and match, you can create day looks, night looks, dramatic looks, anything. I also really love that it has a black in there because it makes it really great for traveling. If I'm going anywhere, I could just take this with me, nothing else, and I could pretty much create a bunch of different looks with this. I also believe this was about $50, picked it up from Sephora. And I am a huge sucker for packaging. If it's gold and pretty, I am going to be tempted to buy it. This is like a dream product, and I'm, I'm sure some of you who have it and tried it will agree with me as well. But yeah, go check it out. Go ask this for Valentine's Day from whoever. I definitely do not regret spending the $50 on this palette. Yeah, I really love it. So, I decided to include something called bales into my favorites video if I do it every month. And the reason is because whenever I see someone's favorites video, I'm always curious to know what didn't work out for them that month. It just helps me out when I'm looking for new products to try out and I thought maybe it would be helpful for you guys as well. So I am including a fails I know, so negative, but a fail section to my favorites videos if I have any for that month. This month I only had two. I had a lot of great products that I was loving, so I don't have a lot. The first product in my fails this month is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. This is a powder foundation that you can use kind of like a kabuki, like a flat top kabuki brush similar to this to apply it all over. I believe it, there's only about three or four shades, which is a bummer. So I'll explain kind of how I found this product in the first place. I don't even know why I was watching QVC because I've never ordered anything from there. But for some reason, I just really like the way those women talk and I just, I really enjoy watching them and it's fun. And I got really drawn in because they were talking about makeup. They were talking about this foundation and they were demonstrating, you know, on half a woman's face, she had nothing on and on the other half, they started to put this product on. They were just sticking it in the product and then just buffing it on her face and literally like women who had, you know, scars and huge birthmarks and discoloration and, and what have you they were it was literally disappearing in front of my eyes <laughs> didn't have a chance to purchase it on QVC so when I had the chance I went to Ulta and I was like all right I need to check it out and when I checked out the sample and I tested it out I got so excited because I was like oh my god how amazing it is a full coverage foundation that I could pop on really quick if I'm in a hurry, I don't have to worry about any liquids, oh, and I hated it. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. Hate is a strong word, but I didn't like it at all. It was really hard to match my skin tone. I honestly don't have a huge problem matching my skin tone. I can easily go out and find a shade, no problem, and I was surprised that it didn't match or di didn't even really come close to matching, and the other shades were either too light or too dark. It didn't give enough coverage that I wanted and I ended up spending more time trying to put this on than my liquid foundation which defeated the purpose of why I wanted to try it. I don't know, it, was, it just didn't work out for me. I don't really see myself reaching to use it again but for some of you it may work. It did it for me, that's why it is in my fails. And the next and last product, the second fails, is the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. Okay, so I know I used this in my last tutorial. No, it's not bad. It's not a bad product, but I put it on and I, I will literally, I can't stand it on my lips. I love the color. This is in the Nude Eclipse. It's a really pretty nude. It is a little bit too light for me. If you have a lighter skin tone than me, it's gonna look amazing on you. I love the color and how thick and op opaque the consistency is. 
but the smell I just can't get over the smell and this is the thing like if something it, it could be great but if the smell it doesn't work out I just I can't <laughs> I just can't that's how sensitive I am to smells and especially because it's right under my nose I'll be wearing it on my lips I just I couldn't stand it so when I first smelled it in the store I was like oh that's delicious but after a while it's like a it almost smells like a Jolly Rancher but it's like just too sweet and really strong the smell is just really strong and to have that constantly under your nose, it was really difficult for me because I am so sensitive. But I don't mind using it every now and then for a touch-up or anything. It was a huge turnoff that that I couldn't bear the smell, so that is why it is in my fails. Um, I'm kind of sad because I do like the product. And that is about $5 in drugstores if smells are not a big issue for you and you kind of want to just try it. Okay, so that is pretty much it, guys, for this month. If you want me to continue continue doing a favorites video every month be sure to let me know also I would love to know what you guys are loving this month I am always looking for new products to try out and if you have something that you think that I have to have please leave that in the comments below I hope you guys have an amazing week and a great Valentine's Day who out there is going to see the Fifty Shades of Grey movie? Who is going to see it? I read the first book and I am waiting to read the second and third book because I just want to go see the first movie before I move on. So I'm really excited to see it. I'm going to drag my husband to the movie theaters and we're going to watch it this Valentine's Day. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's it guys, and I will see you next Monday. Bye. Right to where my true crease is. All of this work was in my socket bone, and if you have larger eyes or a deeper set eye, this all would have probably happened in your crease. But when you have smaller eyes like me, or hooded eyelids, or monolids like myself, you kind of have to raise up 